our race is a stepping stone to connect us. It shouldn't divide us. Deacon Gerard Marie Anthony speaks about growing up the son of interracial and interfaith parents. His father was Protestant and mother Catholic. A lot of times as a black Catholic, it was go to mass, uh, but then also my dad's services, they were a lot longer. So I spent a lot of time in church growing up. He now dedicates his life in service to the Catholic church. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In 2017, he was ordained a permanent deacon for the Diocese of Arlington in Virginia. There aren't many black Catholic clergymen in America. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops reports around 1% of all U.S. priests are black. Among the laity, 4% of U.S. Catholic adults are black. Numbers aside, Deacon Anthony has seen one stereotype take root throughout his experience. A lot of African-American communities think that Catholicism is just a white religion. Um, I do see that as a huge problem. In the U.S. at large, African-Americans are a minority, but that fact stands out even more within the Catholic Church. A 2022 Pew Research study looks closer at where people worship in the U.S. 80% of white Catholics attend church where most people are white. 67% of Hispanic Catholics attend church where most people are Hispanic. And 68% of black Protestants attend church where most people are black. But only 25% of black Catholics worship where most people are black. Unlike the other groups, most black Catholics in the U.S. are in the racial minority in their churches, including at Deacon Anthony's home parish. The number of black parishioners at this Catholic church in Chantilly, Virginia, does reflect the findings of the Pew survey, but the research doesn't contain all the answers. At least not until very recently have I ever thought of myself as having an identity as a black Catholic. I'm just Catholic. Benta Brown and her mother are parishioners at St. Timothy. They feel very welcomed in this church community. They say their religion isn't about race. It's about the truth found in Catholicism. Still, Benta describes feeling like a stranger in some Catholic parishes. There are some churches I'll go to where I don't feel welcome by other parishioners, but I always feel welcome. Sorry. I always feel welcomed by God. I always feel welcome and invited by the Holy Spirit. I always feel this draw to the Eucharist. You know, I don't think that I could leave if, if I tried my hardest because there's always this draw to God. There are approximately three million black Catholics in the U.S. Despite their small percentages in the American church as a whole, the Pew study may suggest they are providing a big gift to the universal church through their own individual commitment to prayer. The study finds black Catholics are more likely than other Catholics to pray at least once a day, rely on prayer when making decisions, and read scripture outside of services at least once a week. And this is why the culture even in Africa, they're booming. I mean, the converts in Africa are booming. They're actually the fastest growing section of the Catholic Church. And hopes to build up the future of the church in the U.S. must include continued outreach to black Catholics, percentage-wise a younger community than white Catholics. The Pew study reports 69% of white Catholics are 50 years of age or older, while 52% of black Catholics are under 50. And Benta Brown believes regardless of race, age, or any categorizations that can divide us, a welcoming spirit must be shared with all for the church to thrive. And if we are seeing Christ in every human being, then we cannot close our hearts to the person who's sitting next to us. Jesus Christ welcomed the prisoner, the tax collector, the prostitute, the sinner. All of us and all of our imperfections, this great love he brought us all to the table. Mark Irons, EWTN News In Depth.